Hi, my name is Jeff Sample and I'm the president of Mac Moldings Northern Operations. I'm standing on the mezzanine of our headquarters facility in Arlington, Vermont, overlooking our assembly area where we're making a whole variety of products for different customers in different markets. Back in 1920 when we opened up, Mac Molding was probably a pretty good name because we were just a molder. Since that time we've added a lot of different things such as sheet metal, machining, contract manufacturing, assembly of electromechanical products of all shapes and sizes, and it's taken us into some really exciting marketplaces. One of the ones I'm really excited about is energy and environmental. We've had some recent successes, one of which is a company called Innovus, which makes a solar-powered light pole, which we make here in this facility. We do machining for that, we do sheet metal for that, we're having circuit boards brought in from our sister division, Mac Technologies, down in Massachusetts. We put the entire thing together, we test it, and it gets shipped out to be installed all across the country and all around the world. Very, very challenging product. And one of the biggest challenges is this product is huge. It's very, very large physically, presented a lot of logistical challenges, and you'll hear a lot about that today. It's being made right around the corner. Welcome to Mac Moldings Manufacturing Floor. My name is Brian Campbell, the plant manager. Here I am standing where we produce the Innovus Solar Light Poles. There are three distinct features on the highlight throughout the assembly process today. One being the low cost of maintenance, ongoing maintenance out in the field, two being the superior wind resistance results these poles get, and third being the low risk of vandalism out in the field due to various design features I'll highlight. Here we are at the assembly station where we actually wrap the solar collector to the pole. This actually gives its two unique features. One, from an aesthetic standpoint, the collector is wrapped tightly to the pole and also enables it to have the best wind resistance out in the field today. Now that the solar collector is applied, the next part of the operation would be to apply the retention strips. These are manufactured just steps away in our sheet metal department along with 11 other components. This retention strip will be applied to the edge of the solar collector for two reasons. One, so that from an aesthetic standpoint, no edges are shown and also reduces the risk of vandalism. Here we are at the battery assembly. Here's where we take eight LFP batteries, do some light electromechanical assembly to join them introduce them into their carrying case, and then skid them separately and sell with each pole. The LF battery is unique because it's world-class technology to give it the longest life possible, as well as perform in the hottest of conditions. This is where we assemble the charge controller. The charge controller is an electrical mechanical assembly that allows each pole to be uniquely programmed with over six profiles that control motion detection, dimming, and so forth. The charge controller consists of three unique sheet metal components that we manufacture here, as well as wire harnesses, controllers, boards, and then yields the final assembly charge controller, which will then be introduced into the pole. Now that the pole has been completely assembled, we move it here to our final test station. As you can see here, we have our UV banking of lights that will begin to soak the pole. At that particular time, we hook up a luminaire to be able to test for functionality. 100% of our product is brought through this process. Not only do we verify the functionality of the luminaire and the electronics, we also measure various voltages to ensure proper conductivity. Now that the pole has been completely assembled, 100% functionally tested, it is moved over to the packaging area, which is typically an easy operation. However, due to the sheer size and packaging requirements of these poles, it is quite complex as you're about to see. The raw pole is then brought underneath these cranes where we add the donut packaging, we will then lift that packaging into this Mac manufactured packaging fixture in order to standardize this operation. Once the pole is introduced, we will then perform some strapping operations, final shrink wrap the product, put it into its bunking, and then it is ready to be shipped. As you can tell, we're very excited about this product. We've been manufacturing them and shipping them all over the country, literally all over the world, to be installed. But the next installation is the one I'm really excited about because it's taking place right here in Arlington, Vermont, at our headquarters this afternoon. We're installing a pole right here by an employee entrance, so it's going to light up an area where employees come in and out at night. And the best part about it is I'm never going to see an electric bill.